So I placed an order for the Boohoo by Kourtney Kardashian Barker collection. I did the reveal of the full collection on my channel uh, yesterday, so you would have seen that. In fact, no, it was this morning. <laughs> It was literally like 7am or something, so it feels like yesterday. It was this morning, it's now the evening, so that's why I'm getting confused. Um, and I really like the pieces, although it's Boohoo, um, which is very similar to PLT, PLT in that it's fast fashion. And also it's very kind of trendy, it's, everything's on trend, everything's kind of Instagrammable. And that's not really how I dress. I dress very classic, I dress very simple. And so it's not really somewhere I shop very often, although I do from time to time. So the whole Kourtney Kardashian, Barker and Boohoo collab, um, there's been a lot of uproar that I've seen. Um, and honestly, I get it. But at the same time, Boohoo are trying to do better and you can't really complain. At the end of the day, they're saying, we know we're a fast fashion brand. That's what we are. I mean, what do you want them to do? Like not not be them that's that's what they are um so we're a fast fashion brand but we want to do better we want to become more sustainable um and i've had a look through the collection and it's all made with like recycled materials and things like that so it's definitely there's definitely some kind of ethics there um with this collection and they're moving in the right direction which i really like and at the end of the day at least they're doing something you know they've acknowledged actually we could be doing better and they've brought Courtney in to kind of help with that because she's very kind of earth mother eco-friendly you know you know that, that's just how she's and that's her brand and and so I get why there was backlash you know her with Boohoo why would you work with fast fashion but looking into it they're trying to make a change they want to be more sustainable um, and they have this kind of new concept moving forward with their brand. And I think you've got to give them credit where credit is due um, because they're trying, they are trying to make a difference. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. Think of that what you will. Um, but if you're watching this, you're probably interested, so that's fine. So with the collection, I, oh my gosh, it's a completely different color to what I thought it was gonna be. Not completely different color, but it's like, anyway. So, as I said, it's all very like trendy and there were lots of pieces that I actually, there were lots of pieces that I really liked, but that I wouldn't necessarily wear. You know, you see things, you're like, I like that, I like that. I would never wear it. So I wanted to get something that I will definitely, definitely wear. And there was one piece. They actually had, I, if you don't watch me, usually, you won't know this, but I love coats and jackets coats jackets blazers but like smart coats nice blazers nice jackets um i love all of that and they had a really lovely or they have i think it's still in stock um a hound's tooth um print really lovely like smart coat and i was like oh my gosh i love it the only problem was for me it was a bit loud and leery because the print is massive or it seemed to be for me um, if it was a small print, I would have loved it and I definitely would have snapped it up. But it was this really big houndstooth print and it was kind of, kind of quite leery and loud and that's not how I dress. So I didn't get it, but I was a little bit gutted about that. So I definitely would have got that one. But they did have one item that I was like, do you know what? I will wear this. And I wanted to, I had to buy something, especially this is a sustainable, you know, um collaboration sustainable um collection there's no way i could just buy a load of stuff just for the channel which is what a lot of people do um but i don't like waste so i had to only buy things that i know i would like so you can see the color i want to see so last time she did a collaboration oh the name is in here sometimes um boohoo have done it before boohoo and plt actually um, when they collab with other, with select celebrities, the name's never in the label and I've always found that really odd. Like, if I was a, a you know, celebrity and they came to me and said, do you want to do a collab with us? Do you want to work on a project with us? And then I came up with a collection and then my name wasn't even in the label. I'd be like, where's my name? Hello. Um, but I can see it. In fact, the entire packaging. So look at this. Oh gosh, nearly fell off my chair. Boohoo, bye. Oh, 
I was going, I was just about to say, Court, um, Boohoo by Courtney Kardashian Barker, but it just says Courtney Kardashian. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this has been in the works for ages and they had it already and then she decided to say, actually, I'm a Barker now, but it was too late. I don't know, something's happened because on all the promo for it, it's Courtney Kardashian Barker, but it, now it just says Courtney Kardashian. It doesn't matter. Um, what does it say on the actual, yeah, it just says that on the tag as well. Weird. Anyway, so I quite like that. So we actually have. Oh, and then look at the bag. So it says this bag is made from 100% post-consumer waste recycled material and is recyclable um, as part of Boohoo's steps towards more sustainable fashion. Do you know what? At the end of the day, they're trying. Um, so that's amazing. So this is recycled plastic and it's also recyclable. Brilliant. So I love that. So we rip this off ripped right through the thing but anyway and this is different to what i thought i thought it was more um white it does say it's stone but on the pictures it, it looks more white anyway so it's even got the tag and this i can even yes you can tell this is on recycled paper so i don't know if you can see can you see or not it's kind of like speckledy can you see the specklediness or not? You know when you feel recycled paper, this chair, um, and it, you can tell it's recycled. I knew straight away. So it says on the back, the swing ticket is made with recycled paper and agricultural corn waste as part of Boohoo's steps towards more sustainable fashion. I see, I really, I'm liking this so far. This is recycled and recyclable. This is recycled. Like, I'm really liking this. And it's like, you may think, yeah, that's great, or you may think it's just a tag, who cares? But it all makes a difference. It all adds up. Think how many tags they must get through. So if they're switching to recyclable, or recycled, I should say, um, that's amazing. Like, it all makes a difference. Like, every little helps. So, yeah, I love that. So, I went with the trench coat. What I'm going to do, um, obviously I'm going to try it on and everything, I'm going to flash up a picture, the promo pictures of this jacket so you can kind of see um, what I was looking at online. It's just slightly, I don't know, darker than what I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, let me show you the promo pitch, pictures. So <laughs> this chair is never normally this squeaky. Anyway, so as you can see from the pictures, it is this long trench coat in this stone colour. And it's like a two-way, so you can actually wear it as a cropped jacket or as a long coat, which I really like. Um, but, hang on, does this come off? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, whatever. Um, I don't know if I'd wear the cropped jacket. We'll have to see. I, I wasn't, like, you know, I wasn't obsessed with the look, to be honest, for me personally. But I did think that it looked nice. But I was more into the whole, you know, the full-length coat. So this is what it looks like. The back, it's got these kind of layers here. So this is just like the normal, normal layer on top, I guess. Um, and then this is where you can undo it and turn it into like a cropped jacket. So I actually really like that because then you've got two coats for the price of one. So I really, really like it. And of course, being good here, it's not expensive anyway. But then you've got the detailing on the sleeves. It's really nice material. That's another thing. I was like, what is the material? And I did look up the materials um, and I still couldn't tell. I was like, I still don't get what it will feel like. Um, it feels really nice and soft. It's got a slight sheen to it. I don't know if you can see, but I really, really like it. It's kind of got this kind of grain effect. I don't know, really know how to describe it, but if I show you, you might get what I'm saying. Um, you've got the black buttons. It's got pockets, which is... A big yes from me quite big pockets there i really like it of course i have to go and try it on um i bought a size 10 uk 10 um this is us us 6 and let me see i just want to see where the tag is because i want to see what it's made out of because i can't remember i know it was like recycled materials or something like that it's going to be a little bit annoying. Let's undo it. 
the test will be, I find with like cheaper coats and things, and when they've got buttons, like the buttons fall off really easy and things like that. So let's hope that doesn't happen because that would be annoying. Um, and I don't know if there's a spare button. I don't think there is, which is annoying. Um, I found the tag. The tag says, it's got a spare button, but it's like a little popper. I don't know where that's for. But it's not one of the big buttons. Anyway, the tag says upside down. Oh, so it's made from, it's, got, it's cotton, basically it's cotton and polyester mix, um, and the polyester is recycled. So half of, you know, it's made of two materials, two different materials, and one of the materials is recycled, um, which is great. Again, it's better than not recycled at all. So, you know, you've got to give credit where credit's due. I really like this new approach. I don't know if they're doing this with the entire Boohoo line or it's just like a sustainable collection that they're doing, I'm not sure. I'm guessing they want to move forward and kind of do that with everything. This is really confusing because there's so many buttons. I don't know if I'm undoing like the wrong bits. Yeah, so like this, I've just undone that, but this is part of like the little jacket. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I was undoing the coat, but I'm just basically detaching. Anyway, let me show you what it looks like. Let's have a look. On camera, I really, really like it. Um, I'm a fan. I am a fan of it. I think it looks, it's really confusing because I'm not, obviously you don't normally have, what have I done? I've done the buttons. Oh my gosh. It is confusing. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, so I'll, okay. So we have buttons on the outside, which you just display, and then you have the buttons on the inside to kind of do this. So I've done it up wrong. It's all a working process, um, work in progress. Oh my gosh, I'm tired, it's the evening. Um, please forgive me, I just, I, I just got in and I was like, I have to film this. So, there it is. It's weird because I kind of automatically then went to get some kind of tie waist if it had a tie waist 10 out of 10 i keep going to to do it oh, i wish it had a tie waist maybe i could put a belt on it or something i don't know is it me or is this absolutely huge like is it me or is this massive like this is my dress size but like oh that wasn't very flattering was it this is my dress size where's my shape but weird anyway ignore, I don't know what's going on but this is like how slim I am and then the coat is like I don't know so how do you do this up so you do it up here I'm guessing oh I can't even do it it's really stiff <laughs> all these buttons okay there's one button let me just do them up I don't know what it is if it's supposed to be oversized, I need to check now. But I feel like I'm drowning in coat. Is it me or is this like huge? It just feels massive. I feel like I've got someone else's coat on. Oh my gosh, look. Literally. Like this is me. Oh, look how nice that looks. Now I've cinched it in. It looks really good, but... Without cinching it, it's really like big and baggy. I'm not a baggy clothes kind of person, even with coats. It has to have some sort of belt or something. But when I do this, it looks really nice. Oh gosh, I nearly tripped over. So let's look at the back. Let's look over here. So this is the coat on and done up. <laughs> it's weird I kind of love it and I kind of feel like what is this in terms of it's massive I don't know if it's supposed to look like this but it's huge be honest with me in the comments does this look ridiculous because honestly like even the sleeve I feel like I could put two arms in the sleeve it just feels absolutely huge but it's weird, I really like it, but I don't know whether I should go down a size, and I'm not definitely not a size 8, so I don't know if it's just the wrong, you know, sizing is off, 
or if it's supposed to be massive. I'm gonna have to have another look at the picture because I can't remember, to be honest. Um, I already had these boots on when I came in. I literally walked through the door, picked up the package and pressed record. So I haven't even taken my shoes off yet. So I'm not necessarily saying I would wear it with these boots, which by the way, if you'd like the link, I will leave it below because they, I think there's some more in stock. Um, but they are just stunning. They've got like a little gold bit there, nice ankle detail. It's got a little gold stud here, the back. I really love them. Anyway, pockets are really deep. It's really, really nice material. And I really love the fact that it's from recycled materials. I know it's not 100% recycled materials, but we're halfway there. Like that's better than nothing. I really like that. I feel like I like it. We'll have to see what my husband says. If he goes, oh, that looks massive. It's just gonna put me off. Um, you know when you're not sure about something and all it will take is just one person to say like what is that and it's going to put you off um but yeah i don't know i kind of really like it actually i kind of love it obviously you can kind of do this which i wouldn't do it looks cool in photos but in reality it's annoying and you get makeup on the lapels but what do you think of this I think I actually really like it I just kind of I would love it more if it was this like cinched in like does that look better or not or had a belt or something I don't know let's try it undone it, this bit's confusing what? Dogs. it takes a while to get used to all these different buttons because there's like a popper thing here and I'm like I don't really get what that's about and then you've got different buttons so you've got a button here but then you've got I don't really get it so you've got a button here and then you've got a button here so then you've got to kind of undo it twice because this comes away okay so I don't really get this I don't get it oh okay so that's why you have a popper so the popper goes like this so that when you undo the button, it's still attached. Okay, I get it, gosh. It is a bit, honestly, you probably think I'm being really thick, but when you, if you get this, it's like, you have to ignore my socks, they've got a stripe on them. <laughs> okay, here we have it. Sort out this because it is very unflattering. Wow, okay, I just think that this actually looks really good. I feel like if I saw someone walking down the street wearing this, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I love her coat. I really like it. Originally I was like, it's too big, it looks ridiculous, but do you know what, I like it. I think it's really, really nice. And the fact that it's bigger and more roomy means that you can wear, you know, jumpers and things in the winter. It looks really, really nice. I really like it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, so that's undone which is a yes for me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take the top bit off. So confusing. Okay, so now you're doing the inside buttons to so take this off, and I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. I might love it, but I hope I do, because that means I think I've got two new coats, a coat and a jacket, which will be amazing. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I've got the material bits of thread. I just hope, because it was really inexpensive, I hope it doesn't start falling apart and all the buttons fall off and things like that, because that would be annoying. But usually with coats, I like an expensive coat because it, you know, it lasts years, um, you know, the tailoring is amazing, high quality and all of that. Um, and obviously this is very inexpensive. I think it was like 25 pounds, I'm pretty sure, which is insane. Um, but I love the fact it's made from recycled material. I think that's amazing. Even the buttons look a bit weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're recycled as well. Who knows? Anyway, gosh, this is very time consuming. So then you've got poppers. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, maybe this could be a skirt. <laughs> I'm doing my own fashion. 
things I'm joking. But okay, obviously I've got the shirt on, so it just looks silly. I don't know. Do I like this as a jacket or not really? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to take. Oh dear! It's like a full a full workout here. Can I take this off? And then pop this on. Is that better? Okay, better. Wow. What do we think of this? Seriously. What do we think of it? Again, I would never pick this on its own. But I kind of like it, and I'm going to do it up. Oh, actually, let's do it. <laughs> you know when you get something new and the buttons are really stiff and it takes ages? So undo it, do it up. There we go. Oh, that one as well. Oh, honestly, we'll get there in the end. I don't know. What do we think about this? Do we like this or not? I think that I like it. I think I do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've got two new coats. So guess what? I was editing the video and so this packaging, I just kind of threw it to the side, you know, I'm rushing around. I was editing the video, watching it back, making sure that everything was okay um, and then selecting an image of the jacket, the coat um, to add in so you could see what I was talking about, the professional images. Guess what? I see that there's a belt on the coat. And I'm thinking, hang on, where's my belt? It's missing. So I had a rummage through and guess what I found inside the packaging? I found the freaking belt. <laughs> so there's me thinking that the coat would be amazing with a belt and the whole time it had a belt. And also I have to say, watching it back, I can clearly see the belt uh, loops um, on the sides of the coat. In reality, when I was filming, I couldn't really see myself properly. It was tiny on the screen, so I couldn't really see. It's only watching it back, it was really obvious. Um, so I had no clue and I couldn't feel them and I couldn't see them when I looked down or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so forgive my uh, dumbness, but it does come with a belt. So that makes me even more excited. I'm really loving this. I actually love this. I just wish the houndstooth one was like smaller print. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put all the buttons, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the coat back together um, and then put it on again, pop it on really quickly um, with the belt so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay, so we now have the, um, I don't know if that lighting's ruined it or what, but. We now have the belt, and I sorted myself out. I was so dishevelled, the sleeves weren't done properly, or all of that. So, let's put the belt on. It's still, it's funny because now I'm adding the belt, it definitely feels too big because I can just feel like all this material. I don't know. I'm going to have to try and sort this out. It just feels really. I will say something that's a little bit annoying. See, it's come undone again. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but like this, basically this bit here has got two sections and you have to put this through it twice. So all of these are one button. Um, basically this attaches to this over this, through the same hole. So you've got two different lots of material so effectively, you're putting one button through two like different holes, two different bits of material, and it's actually really tricky, and so it keeps coming undone. But I know it's because it's new, but it's just really annoying. And then you've also got a button underneath. It just feels really weird. So it feels a bit bulky there, which you probably don't understand what I'm talking about. It's a really confusing coat, actually. But once it's on, it's like a puzzle trying to figure out how to do it. Once it's on, it does actually look really good. 
yeah, it's just, maybe that's a bit better. I've got to figure out, there's a technique, isn't there, how to do your belts, and I've done it wrong, but, is that better? Let's have a look. I feel like that just still, I don't know. It's really weird, when I see it on camera, I can't really let you look properly. I can't really see it, I'm going to have to watch it back to see how I feel about it, but, I think that's better. I actually really like it. It's just a case of, is it too big? What's happening with the back? I feel like something's happened here as well. What is going on? I'm not sure. Is it me or something happening at the back? I really... I think because it's this whole like two piece, it's a little bit odd. Like when that wasn't there, it just had that, but now you've got the belt, it kind of is interfering with this bit. You kind of just have to like tuck it in and I think it needs this is a coat that you need to figure out how you want to wear it and then kind of you can just throw this on basically. You have to like make sure it's done properly before you leave the house. I just, I'm not sure what's happening over here, it just seems to be, I think I just need to pull it through like this. I think that's better, something like that. But, I do actually really like it. I like this, I think it's nice. What do we think? I actually really like it. I can't believe I've never had, I don't think I've ever had a MAC this colour, which is really odd. This pocket, here it is. Pockets are nice and deep, perfect length. Not too deep, so your hands are kind of hanging too far down, but really, a really decent length and depth. It's a good length. I'm five foot six, um, and it hits kind of middle of the calf. Um, but I do have long legs, but I'm five or six. Because um, I know on Courtney it was like really long, but on the model it was much shorter. And I was thinking, okay, is this even the same coat? But she's obviously very, very short and the model's much taller. Um, so yeah, it depends on your height. But I really like where it falls on me. Um, I was a bit concerned because on Courtney it was really long and I thought, mm, don't know if I want a coat that long, but it's not that long on me, which is good. So this is, what it looks like. What do you think? I like it. I actually really like it with the boots as well. And then if we grab a bag just to kind of complete the look. It's not quite the same shade as, as the boots, but still. We can pretend just to kind of see what it looks like. Crossbody, I don't know if that would be a bit annoying. Too much going on. What do you think? And then I've got a bag down here actually, which is the same colour as my boots. What about that? What do we think about that? Move that way. What about this? What do we think about this? What do we think? I'm trying to block the black bag out of the background so it's annoying me. Or you have a black bag. I've got my bags. Do you have a black bag? bag you like the best with it. I quite like this as well actually. This has got the black button so it goes really nicely. And then we've got the tan bag which is a completely different look. This is like I'm going shopping, I'm busy, got things going on, I'm in a rush, busy day ahead. I like it. And then that one, this one wouldn't go. This one's light. I don't know, it doesn't 
as it goes. I feel like I'm promoting bags now, but what do we think? I definitely prefer the, I saw this one, oops, that's some mints um, in a tin. I would say the black one or the tan. I really like it. This is giving me I'm walking around London very busy vibes. I really like this. Definitely now it's got the belt. I would need to kind of make sure placement is right and things like that. But I really like it. I love it. Make sure it's, it's quite, there's quite a few little bits and bobs going on. So you need to make sure everything's, you know, tucked in correctly and everything. But once you've done that, I think it's really, really good. So I quickly tied it at the back and see how it's just cinched it in a little bit now. I haven't even seen, I did it like not looking, so it's probably not tied properly, but um, yeah, I need to adjust it or whatever. But I just did a quick tie and it's just cinched it in now. So now I'm like, oh, do I prefer it tied around the front or around the back? But yeah, it's just, it does it neater actually, with nothing kind of tied there. It looks really good. I like it. I am a big fan of this. I really like it. Yay.